Hey guys, Bruce from Cell Pro here, just doing a 16E screen replacement. All right, so I've already heated it up, and I've already removed the screws here and here with the uh, Pentalope screwdriver. Uh, the phone is boiling hot, so it's really hot right now. So I'm going to put it in the clamp, and we're going to get ready for it to be... for the screen to be removed. So hopefully we can do this without using isopropyl today. Due to the fact that I got it so hot, so... Let's see here. Sorry, I'm making this thing wiggle a little bit. Yeah, it's coming off, so that's good. You can see it lifting here. There we go. You know what, I'm going to put a dash of isopropyl here. There we go. And you can see right at the isopropyl just lifts this bad boy right up. And we're going to actually take it off now. You just want to get that little bit of lift on there just to get it going, you know. Perfect, so the phone is turning, the screen's turning on, so that's nice. I really want to save this screen so it can be refurbished. It's probably worth a little bit of money, so that's nice. We're going to work our way up it like so. Very nice. Keep on going, and there we are. I'm actually going to turn the phone off again. And then we're going to keep on going with this uh, guitar pick. And then I'm going to start wiggling it a little bit. Going like this. Now this has been sitting on the heat mat at about 100 degrees, so it's pretty hot already. So that's why I was able to sort of take it off that easily. Usually these aren't that easy. I'm going to go from this end. I'm going to get up on that edge there. Okay, there we go. There we are. Whoops. Come on. Get up on there. There we go. Come on. Wiggle it and wiggle it and wiggle some more. There we go. So hopefully now it'll let us lift. There we go. Great. Fantastic. I'm going to turn it on to test it again. Great, perfect. So we saved the screen. We're successful in doing that. These screens are worth a little bit of money being the original OEMs, so we want to protect that. Let me just take that guy off like so. Take this guy off. Now we're going to be putting these on a magnetic mat to ensure that we're keeping them in good order. We're going to be turning the phone off again. Alright, so this here's the lifter. It's got a little bit of a hinge there. Oh, and that comes off there. Put that over there, this one, and again it's got that little hinge. And off it comes. Very kind of hard to pick up. There we go. Get that guy off. That was easy peasy. Come on. You don't really want to be overly aggressive here. There we go. 
because you got all these little capacitors and stuff down there, so you got to be careful. All right, so now we're going to unscrew this here. Done. Done. Again, put those on the magnetic heat mat here. Perfect. Take that off. Put those over here. All right. And now, again, I'm just going to pause this. All right, guys, so I just went and heated this up a little bit. Um, we're going to want to ensure that we get these off quite nicely and successfully. Not quite hot enough yet. All right, so I used a heat gun this time at about 150. These guys are okay to come off. Still on there pretty good though. And heat it up a little bit more. All right, so I heated it up a little bit more here, and uh, it's coming off a little bit easier now. So there we go, perfect. All right, and that's still pretty hot to touch there, so we're going to try and remove this too. There we go, perfect. All right, and for the rest of it, we're gonna be using some isopropyl alcohol. All right, we just kind of use the isopropyl in there and then we kind of just work it around here. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Not too bad. I was going to come and bug you briefly about uh, Mesh Tastic. Remember you were asking me about Yeah, that? Oh, I got one. Yeah, I got you a Mesh Tastic. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay what did you get? Uh, V3. Haltech. Haltech, yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, I, uh, I took, I've been wanting to get into it for a real long time. And I bit, uh, a couple weeks ago, I bit the bullet and I bought a, a T deck. And, uh, did you? Yeah, T deck? And, uh, and a uh, T beam. And then I've now actually got another one of the, some little repeater thing. It's a, okay. Oh, you um, got a T deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One sec. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to pause wanna, my video. I, I don't want to oh, no problem. I'm just filming oh, okay. yeah, <laughs> this it, yeah. repair. Uh, so, one sec. All right. Sorry. Someone stopped in there and wanted to discuss some things. All right. So, back to here. All right. So, we're still just really taking our time, just working this guy through. All right, perfect, and that guy's off. All right, so this now we're just gonna put aside. 
We're going to get the new screen. Prep it here. Just going to try and dry the isopropyl off of that. So just set it in place like that. And then we're gonna put this in. There we go. Screw that in like so. Then let's grab the other one. All right, so there we go. So that's all in place nicely. All right, so now let's, let's go ahead and plug that guy in there. Plug this guy in here like so. Sure, it's connected. All right, let's turn her on and test her out. Excellent. This is a the screen in question here is a uh, it's a mid grade screen. Looks like it works pretty good. Um, and everything looks to be display not recognized, which is fine. Cool. It's a X07 soft. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these things here. I find it's easiest to just use that. And then, oops, kind of get them into place this way. There we go. That fell into place. Grab the little screw. I got a gunk on my fingers though. All right, we're gonna screw that guy into place. Then we're gonna grab uh, this guy. Go like that. Okay, we're gonna do that. And we're gonna put that there. Screw that into place like so. All right. Now, no need to use a new seal on this one. The seal's on there just fine. If we heat it back up, it's gonna work real well. All right. Now we're going to take these little screws, like there, like so. I'm going to screw these guys in like that, and like that, 
And voila, we're done. Alright guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.